All right, everybody. Tonight we're going to be doing uh, <clears throat> drawing three-dimensional objects. So um, let's start with number 13. It says to uh, draw a top, a side, and a front view of each figure. Well, uh, if I draw a top view, I can see that I'd be looking down at this figure here. Um, it looks to me like it would be uh, the shape of a of a obtuse triangle. Uh -huh. And if I drew the uh, side view, well, that's going to be a triangle. And then the uh, front view would be another triangle. All right, let's move on. Uh, number 15 says draw a corner view of each uh, three-dimensional figure whose top view, side view, and uh, front view are shown. Uh, I know if I'm looking at the top view of this, then my base has to be a circle. And I know if I'm looking at a side view, uh, then this must be a cone. If I have a triangle on my side and a triangle on my front, and that has to be a cone type figure. I guess if I was really going to make this accurate, I could. Draw more like this and just put dash marks here to represent that I know that it has a circular base. <clears throat> number 17 says, drop, uh, draw a top, a side, and a front view of this figure. On my top view, uh, if I'm looking at it right, is going to be a rectangle. Okay. So it would probably look like uh, Actually, if I'm looking at it from the very top and not at an angle, it's probably going to look more like this. Uh, then if I'm drawing a side view, well, the side view would be here. And that's going to look more like, uh, I guess, this. And then the uh, front view, well, that would look like a kind of a square, I think. And some might argue that if this is here, you're going to see a line going across here. And you might see a shade, but uh, if you don't, then it's just going to be the rectangle there. And the same might, might say, uh, for this view here, some might see uh, a line going across here and here where this top part is. But on the outside, it's just going to be a rectangle. Uh, that's all the ones that I was supposed to do to help you out. Uh, this seems like a pretty easy assignment, so I'm going to leave the rest up to you and see you in class.